China has successfully used a 1.2 meters telescope laser ranging system to bounce light off a retroreflector placed on the Moon during NASA's Apollo 15 crewed lunar mission. The Lunar Laser Ranging LLR experiment, a national first, was carried out by the Applied Astronomy Group from the Yunnan Observatories, operating under the Chinese Academy of Sciences CAS. LLR is used to achieve the highest accuracy measurements of the distance between the Earth and the Moon. Before now, only the US, France and Italy had successfully deployed LLR technology. According to the group, the distance between the retroreflector in the Hadley Apennine region of the near side of the Moon and the Yunnan Observatory was 385,823.433 km to 387,119.600 km from 9.25 p.m. to 10.31 p.m. Beijing time on January 22. The Apollo 15 Lunar Laser Ranging Retroreflector LRRR array is the largest of four such working arrays on the surface of the Moon, according to NASA, with a size of 105 by 65 centimeters. The other active LRRRs are at the Apollo 11 and Apollo 14 landing sites, and on the Soviet Union's Lunokhod 2 rover. The hardware from Apollo 15 was placed on the Moon by astronaut David Scott on July 31, 1971. A portion of the Apollo 15 Lunar Laser Range and Retroreflector Array, as placed on the Moon and photographed by David Scott. NASAD. Scott LLR technology traverses fields such as laser and photoelectric detection, automatic control and space orbiting. Compared to other methods, LLR can achieve the highest accuracy of distance measurement between the Earth and the Moon, Xinhua states. Although LLR in China has not achieved the same level as pioneering countries like the U.S., our initial success still means the progress, which started from scratch, said Li Yu Qiang, an associate researcher with Yunnan Observatories. China is preparing its unprecedented Change 4 mission to Softland on the far side of the Moon for late 2018. Vision first requires a communications relay satellite to be sent to a spot beyond the Moon, and is set to launch in May or June. This will be one of an expanding set of lunar explorations missions planned by China. LLR will, along with sampling, technology verification and in-situ resource utilization, will apparently be involved. In the near future, China will plant its own retroreflector on the moon, which will further boost the development of LLR in China, Li said. The far side of the moon and the distant Earth, imaged by the Change 5T1 mission in 2014. Chinese Academy of Sciences